So hello everybody, uh, tonight we have the second order from the submission of HGA and we're gonna unbox them. See there's two boxes right now. Uh, I think there should be around 18 cards here. I've submitted like way too many orders that I'm not sure how many or which ones are the ones that got back here. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, open it up and uh, I know they recently um, added the features to the uh, to the online where you can find you can see your uh, your grades before it arrives but I haven't really checked that one yet um, I'll check it in the future but I just want to be surprised right uh, see what the grades are right now and uh, on this ones uh, I cleaned this ones compared to last ones so I'm expecting a better grade better grades overall since I actually like wipe it down and everything before submitting because last time I have way too much um, I have way too many uh, nines and only a few 9.5s that was my first submission so I think to, to nah, I think we did better in this ones like I said, we, we cleaned this one. I cleaned this one before submission. I inspect and cleaned. So here we go. Our first lab, we have a Bradley Beal uh, rookie auto from the contenders right here. And see, it's a 9.5. The surface actually got a 10 in this one. See what I'm saying? Like I, I cleaned this one. I know they're hardened surfaces, but I cleaned it and look, I got a 10 finally. Last time, I think the best grade I had on the surface was a 9.5. So this one was close to 10 overall. Had it been the corner or the center, I could have gotten a 10. So not bad. Next is a Chris Middleton um, Auto. This is his second year, I believe. Second year. So it's not a rookie card, but it's still a nice auto. This one got a 9. Oh, I forgot to check. So I got a 10 on the auto in the back of Bradley Beal. So this one, uh, close to 9.5, corners and edges got me. Surface is 9.5. Auto is 10 on the back. Then we have an Anthony Edwards uh, rookie patch from Absolute. I like the I like the neutral one here. It looks pretty. The card match. So this one I kind of had a low surface grade. But that's like kind of hard on the on the thicker cards and also like absolute is not one of the best ones when it comes to that but luckily i got a good score in the edges and then uh yeah solid 9.5 besides the surface and then we have another rookie auto this time it's uh, cameron johnson from the suns c surface is 10 again Corners are 9, edges are 9.5, centering is 9.5. Auto in the back is 10. So yeah, definitely the, the cleaning works. Because the surface is 10. I've never gotten a, a, nine, a higher than 9.5 on my last submission. Because I didn't clean him. So we have a Trey Young Court Kings rookie card level 2. This one's a nice one. Nice Trey Young right here. It's a 9.5. Corners and edges could have gotten there. Could have put me to 10. Again, surface is 10. So yeah, surfaces, cleaning surfaces really works. Really works. You can see that now. If you guys are not sure, check my first submission and uh, the, first, the last video and you guys can see the difference. And then we have a Luca um, 2019 Illusion si uh, Shining Stars Pink. This one's really nice. I like this one. I've seen the green and the, uh, I mean the emerald and the blue, but I've never seen the pink one. So when I finally saw one, I jumped on it. And again, like I really like the neutral colors compared to the splash, like this one's, you know. I think the splash works if your your card is colorful. See how like the pink matches the pink here. But if it comes to like plain cards, it's better to use a. Uh, Neutral. It looks neat and uh, clean. 
So in this one, I got a 9 on surface, but this is an acetate card, so that could have been probably why. It was pretty close. 10, 10, 9.5. So still a solid grade. And then we have a Chris Paul rookie card right here. 9.5. Love the color match for the, uh, for the team match. Um, the color of the ball and everything. So... Uh, just a base, uh, base uh, Chris Paul rookie card, 9.5 surface. So this was the worst surface we got, which is a 9. The rest were 9.5 and above. This one got me in the centering and the corners, which is really off-centered, honestly. I wasn't surprised to get a 9 from this. But it's Chris Paul, so I couldn't pass out the opportunity to grade it, and it's clean. I thought I could have gotten the 9.5. I mean, if the corners were good, 9.5, then I could have got a 9.5. But here we are. Still not bad grade. 9 is not bad. So, well, uh, we had almost all 9.5, right? That was our first... Oh, no, that's the second 9. So, these are the only two 9s right now. The rest were 9.5s right here. 5 9.5s. And here's our third nine, nine, uh, grade 9. It's a Kobe uh, 2003 Topps Finest. Um, I can't say anything about it. It's just Kobe. So it's a Chrome. Uh, it's a it's a Chrome card, or I'm not sure what you're gonna call it, refractor. But it's just the, the Topps Finest ones are just really pretty. So what I got a nine in corners, nine in surface, nine in centering. It's just the only one that's 9.5. Can't really expect anything that much in a card that's not mine. I bought it. I bought it off. It's an old card that I bought off. So still, nine is still great. And then our last card in this uh, package, uh, we have a 9.5 of Lamelo Ball, Panini certified. So this one got a 10 on corners, nine on 9.5 on surface. Edges and centering. Pretty card. So, so far in that package, we have a total of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, six 9.5s and uh, 3 9s. So, that's a good ratio, right? Two thirds are 9.5, only one third is a, a 9. So that's a good one. So let's open up this one. So I have a few more coming in. Uh, I put the orders in back when uh, they were only limited to nine cards per, per order. So that's why um, I had to put in separate orders because you can only win spots before. And I just ended up submitting them all together to, sh to save a little bit on shipping because I'm not in, I'm not in any rush. So here we go. Second submission. Oh, these are my favorite ones. I mean, it has my PC cards. Absolute PCs here, and this ones. So let's start with Zion. So we have a Zion Pulsar, Pulsar Prism, um, it got a 9, everything is a 9, uh, we got a 9 on the corners, or I mean sorry, we got 9.5 on corners and surface. So again not bad on surface, uh, the edges and centering killed me, which you can see is like a little bit heavy on the right, I guess, and top to bottom, top is a little bit he heavier. But that's still, like I said, anything that's above 9 for me is a win. So, not a good start on this on the, on this card. Ooh, we have another 9 again. Another Zion with the 9. This time it's the Purple Disco Prism. So the last one was Pulsar, this one's a purple. I collect Zion. I, uh, I'm a Zion collector, so yeah, I have... That's why I said this, this package was like the... Uh, my PC one. I had Zion and Halliburton 
and a couple of my Niners are here for sure. I remember. So same thing, 9.5 in surface, and then everything else is a 9. And then let's go to, uh, let's just stay with basketball. I already said it. Halliburton right here. All 9.5s. Uh, this one's the Prism Draft Picks uh, autograph. The, the base uh, auto for the Prism Draft Picks. Everything is 9.5, so solid 9.5 right here. Auto is a 10. I call it Halliburton's if you guys don't know. Well, I said it already. Halliburton's and Zion's and Fox. I like my PCs. So there we go. After two nines, we get we got a 9.5, and let's stay with the 9.5. Here we go. Another Halliburton right here. We have the rookie ink hoops of a uh, Halliburton. This one got a 9.5 with a 10 on the corners. So pretty card right here. A 10 on the auto as well. So we started with two nines and then now we have two 9.5s. And let's stay with the 9.5 right here. I wish they have the vertical slab on this one because this would have been nice on the vertical slab right here. Luca in motion uh, treads, dazzle. Big fan of Luca too, by the way. Probably is gonna win the MVP this year. Has a big chance. So this one's a solid 9.5, like the Halliburton, the first Halliburton. Everything is 9.5. You can see corner surface, edges and centering. So a pretty solid grade, pretty solid card. And let's go in the bottom since these are, nope, these are all football. Anyway, stay with top then. Then we got under 9.5. Here we go. <laughs> this time we have a 9 on the surface, but that's, that's probably because it's a, what do you call that? It's an auto card. So usually autos are harder, they're, they're usually harder to, uh, harder to get good grades on surfaces because, you know, people ride on them. And this is an on-card auto. This is actually numbered to 75. Chase Young. Plates and patches. Upper rookie upper echelon orange. So it has the nice uh, splash. Probably could have won could have been better with the uh, with the neutral color match. You know, kind of like just plain like this. But it's okay. It's a 9.5 again. Like I said, surface is the only 9, but I got the edges in 10, so pretty much makes it all 9.5s. Solid 9.5. Auto grade is 10. Then we have our PC right here for the Niners. We have a Nick Bosa uh, Spectra Rookie Patch Auto. Um, this one is, is this numbered? Yep, it is numbered. It is 70 out of 99. I'm not sure why the auto got a 9. 9 on the back. I'm not sure. And this effect. And I'm not sure how to describe it, but it seems like it's awkward. The back is like... It's like a huge space on the back right here compared to the other ones. Which is even. I'm not sure why. First time I saw it too. That's why I was poking on it. I'm not sure if it's an error, but I mean it doesn't affect the slab or anything. Maybe because maybe the uh, the label's a little bit forward. It's probably it. But it's not a big issue for me. It's my PC. I mean, I wish I could have switched the uh, the splash because if you can see the splash doesn't. So I guess it's supposed to mirror the card, but it's not even close. I wish they put red. Or I wish I just put neutral. Would have been better. But anyway, it's still solid 9.5 on all boards. It's a great card. We have another Nick Bosa right here. This one is a 9. 
and I can see now why. Um, 9.5 9 on the surface. This is a. Oh, it's a stick auto. It looks like on card auto. So, um, yeah. What got me probably is the corner. I see it right here. The top right corner is a bit. a bit dented, but I don't remember it being this way. I probably should have noticed it before sending it. But anyway, again, it's my PC cards. Niners are my PC. Mainly Bosa, Ayuk, Trey Lance, Kettle. So, not a big issue to me. Uh, again, the auto is 9. I'm not sure why I got 9. Oh, and this one's also a big hole in the back. Which, I understand probably not why. Um, I think it's because these cards are really thick. If you look at it. These are 160 point cards, so that's probably why there's some there's some hole in it, or there's some dip in it. it doesn't shake, so it's okay. Yeah, the corner got me, and then the edges. Yep, it's okay. It's a nice card, still. A PC bows again. It's a nine. I don't really complain if it's, I can't really complain if it's an arm. That's still the average grade for like a well maintained card. And then here we go with our last card in the submission. It's a Brandon IU Chronicles uh, Crown Royale Pink. It's also sticker auto number 225. 8 out of 25. This card would be really nice on a horizontal slab as well. Would have been really pretty on a horizontal slab. Again, uh, luckily this one I, I got the neutral. And you see how it how clean it looks. Doesn't look um, flashy, but it's it looks really neat. So the auto is 10 and um that is the last um, card on this orders. So overall, I think I'm pretty happy. Um, after cleaning the cards, definitely got way higher 9.5 than nines. Last time, I think I only got four 9.5s out of uh, 15 cards, I, or 14 cards, I believe. <clears throat> so that's pretty low. That's not even... Uh, that's not even 40% I believe nope it's not even 40% but this time uh, we got like look how many nines we have we have one two three four five six seven so we have seven nines on this one compared to how many 9.5s we got on this one we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so there we go we already had 50 percent at this point but we have more 10 11 so we got 20 cards in this in this uh, package overall and more than about like 60 percent probably like 60 i'm not sure but 11 cards are 9.5s there's only nine nines on this one so yeah way higher 9.5 rate on this ones so again if you guys are submitting to hga make sure you guys clean it clean the surface wipe it down um so i would make a video one uh, one day somebody asked me already to do it i just have not much time keep forgetting about it but I would probably I would definitely do a video on how to clean the cards before you submit it to HGA also submit uh, inspecting so you get a better grades so thank you guys and you guys have a good night